Welcome back, Fell fans, and welcome to Witchery Explained. This episode, we're going to be dealing with some spell casting through circle magic. And so, I've opened this area up a little bit so that I have some room near the altar. Now, let's see here. This is still not done. Blah, this takes forever. Uh, 11 should be good. 11 should be good for now. I have been making more Tear of the Goddess for this. Yeah, 11 should be good for now. What we're going to need for spellcasting through circle magic are the chalks. Now, see, the uh, ritual chalk itself is pretty simple to make. Two gypsum, we made that in a previous episode. Uh, six wood ash, we made that in a previous episode. And Tear of the Goddess, we made it in a previous episode. And you just saw me making it over there, too. Otherware chalk is actually made through a cauldron with ritual chalk. It infuses the netherwort, tear of the goddess, and enderpearl into the ritual chalk. Here, for infernal chalk, it infuses netherwort and blaze powder into ritual chalk. And then we have the Golden Chalk, which infuses Mandrake Root and Gold Nuggets into Ritual Chalk. Now, I am just realizing that I forgot to grab some Nether Wart. 16? 16 should be fine. 16 should be fine. While we're here, in front of the crafting station... Ooh, ooh, ah, here we are. Let's go ahead and make some... Ritual chalk. Oh, it makes two per. Well, I didn't notice that before, but okay, sure. Four, six, uh, eight. Ten. I'm making ten. <clears throat> okay, so we have ten of that. But we're also going to need some otherware infernal. And golden chalk especially. Golden chalk is required for any ritual. You need it for the center part. So, let's just go ahead and make it. Hmm. It would appear that an enderman has removed some dirt. Did the chalk already get in there? There we go, there we go. Hmm, what happened to the chalk? There is another manner of filling this witch's cauldron with water automatically. Uh, witchery manner. Of doing it I was gonna wait until I do my brewing episodes but I may do it sooner now um hello I appear to be insane from making the chalk? Ah, uh, finely groomed, cheese flavored. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there is a curse of insanity that makes monsters appear, like this guy. But usually when you swing at them, they, they vanish. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's why it wasn't going in. You can't start with a ritual chalk? Yes, yes. Nether wart would be first.
Let's try it again with the nether wart first. Am I still insane? Cheese flavored Tweety Pie. Maybe it's from brewing? Well, is it technically brewing if I'm infusing? Hmm. Maybe not. Yep, see, there it goes. There it goes. And what was the last part? It was... Nether Wart, Tear of the Goddess, and Ender Pearl. Okay, not real. Whew! Don't want a real one to sneak up behind me. That's the danger of it. A real one can sneak up behind you. And you're just staring at it thinking that it's not real. Lovely. Did the Ender not go in? Otherware chalk. Oh, filling up still. I'm a tad bit impatient, apparently. Hmm. I guess any eye is wrong. Oh, no, no, I was just wrong. Yes, yes, it is this order. I was doing it the other way for some reason. And there we go. We've got two Infernal, two Otherware, four Ritual, and one Golden Chalk. Now let's start off with the Golden Chalk. Now the Golden Chalk has to be about 14 blocks away from the center of your altar. Those of you who recall that my center was right there. So I've marked it out here. And you just right click with the golden chalk and you have a rune. This moon rune is the center. Witchcraft circle magic. One, draw circles using colored chalk with a heart glyph at the center. That's what they call that moon rune. It's definitely a moon in my opinion, but uh, they call it a heart glyph. An altar is often needed for power. That's why we went and made the altar nearby. Drop the foci items into the circle. The foci are the ingredients needed to cast the spell. Just ingredients for a recipe, basically. Then, activate the heart glyph. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is the Rite of Broiling. The Rite of Broiling cooks any food placed in the circle. May overcook food. Oh, over here it shows the recipe for casting the spell to cook the food without an altar nearby, of course. This, it's the same for every spell. You just need a charged a tombstone. That makes up for not having any power. Now this will need a 7x7 seven seven infernal circle. Infernal. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 away. And it's 7x7 seven seven, as in a square. So then let's grab some infernal chalk. One, two, three, four. Okay, four from the quote-unquote heart. Does that look like a heart to any of you? Maybe it's the heart of the center. Maybe that's what it means. One, two, three, four. Now these runes are randomized when placed.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, good. <laughs> they don't want to mess it up. Don't really do 7x7 seven seven too often. It's a small one. It's a small one. There we go. Now we have a 7x7 seven seven circle. Now take a look at this here, though. Look how much was used just to cast one spell. And guess what? The next spells I'm going to be casting need ritual chalk. Not infernal, so I gotta delete these. Delete them. Some witches will have th uh, several circles around their altar of them already shaped, that way don't, they don't have to keep remaking them. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I chose a poor place to place this. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Now, as this says, we need a blaze rod, wood ash, and coal. As well, well actually we have some wood ash right here, cool. As well as what you want to cook. From general Minecrafting, I have acquired quite a lot of food. Let's see, I've got... Some chicken, some beef. Where's my sheep? Sheep, sheep, sheep. Ah, here we are. Got some sheep. Oh, some pig over here. Okay, let's go ahead and cook this. Hmm. So let's also try cooking some wood and see what happens too. Okay. Now here, let's go ahead and cast our first spell. I don't know if it'll do it for all of this. But let's see. Now you're going to want to use a lot because as it says, may overcook food. Well, what do you think that's going to mean? Oh. Oh well. It only works for food. But look at this. 20, 20 of all that turned into charcoal, but all of the pork chop cooked. Um, look, we have this much steak, this much chicken, and this much lamb. I was saving that raw meat for cooking some fun stuff, but eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Now let's get set up for the other spells I want to cast. The Rite of Charging. This has been a long time coming. I mentioned before that I wanted to show you guys how you do this within a tombstone, and here we go. A fun thing about the Rite of Charging is that if you re infuse yourself, you can recharge your infusion power by standing in the circle and charging yourself with this. The main difference though, is that you're going to need a potion of regeneration instead of an attuned stone. Since we're not infusing ourselves today, we will talk about that at a later episode. Right now, we need an attuned stone, glowstone dust, redstone, wood ash, and quick lime. Now, as some of you may recall, to get quick lime, we do that. But, as some of you may have noticed, we need to change this to Ritual Chalk. Now, you can break each individual rune. That's going to take forever. Hmm, don't know what happened there. There we go. Or you can just draw over it. Drawing over it is so much easier, so much quicker. And uh, not many people know you can do that. Not many people know you can just draw right over it. <coughs> I 
But yep, ritual chalk. We're also going to need an 11 by 11 circle. This is from here, looks like one, two out, then five from there, and then two. Okay, so then one, two, is that right? One, two, yes. There, we have that, and then, mm-hmm, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, take a look at that. How does that look? Looks nice in my opinion. Um, I did make this platform out a bit more because there's another set of runes that go out to here. We'll talk about that in a later episode, but take a look at this ritual chalk. This thing is almost gone from all that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. A tombstone. Glowstone dust, redstone, wood ash, and quicklime. <clears throat> right now we have the wood ash. And uh, how about I be right back while I gather all that together. And we're back. Welcome back. Here we go. Now I do need to make an attuned stone. As some of you may remember from my previous episodes on how to do it. Cook a diamond with a whiff of magic. Okay. Monsters? Come on. I don't want monsters. <clears throat> oh, it might be the werewolves I have downstairs. I have some werewolves downstairs. Okay, so the right of charging will charge altar power from the altar into an attuned stone. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yes, five. Okay. Just put it all in there. <clears throat> and then cast. There we go. Here is how to make an attuned stone. As I assured you people that I would show you how to make in a future episode. There we go. The attuned stone. Next, let's go ahead and make the Rite of Sky's Wrath. Now, as you see here, it says you only need a 7x7 seven seven circle of Ritual Chalk. But I have a 7x7 seven seven and an 11x11. 11 11. Will that be okay? Yes, it will. As I will show you, that will be fine. It will only use the 7x7, seven seven, but the 11x11 11 11 will still be there, and it won't really matter that much. Now, to cast the Rite of Sky's Wrath is very simple. You just need a wood sword and wood ash. But the wooden sword recipe for the Rite of Sky's Wrath calls a focused lightning storm inside the circle. Inside it. So if you have a waystone, waystones store a specific coordinate forecasting spells. We'll talk about that in a later episode. I would recommend the Rite of Sky's Wrath using a stone sword because that calls a focus lightning storm outside the circle. There's a fun third recipe though that calls a focus lightning storm outside the circle but uses a charged attune stone. This is for when you're casting the spell without an altar. You're going to need the iron sword for that. Uh, 
I'm a little worried casting it because it would kill my sprites. <laughs> my witch's named sprite, apparently, made me call her sprite. Oh, already got all that. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're only going to do the inside circle one because it's a lot less dangerous. There we go. Okay. So we have a wooden sword and a wood ash. Let's go ahead and cast it. And let's just go ahead and remove Echo. And there you go, foul fans. Now, some lightning bolt would have hit, some lightning bolts would have hit on the roof since my spell circle is under a roof, but some of them did hit the circle itself. This spell can be used for when you need it to be raining, or if you want to turn a pig into a pig man. Actually, No, I don't have any pigs. I have some big men right here. But no, I don't have any pigs. Well, thanks for watching, fell fans. Leave a like and subscribe if you like my show. Future episodes, well, some of the future episodes are going to include some other spells. Some of the fun ones I found. If you have any circle magic spells that you would prefer to see me do, just go ahead and suggest them below. If you have any other comments, go ahead and comment. Thanks again for watching, Fell fans. Bye. Oh, these ones are real. Okay. Whew. I thought the insanity was back.